here, right? And there you go. There, is that fine? You know, it's hard to tell because when they le they let you tag the game, but they don't really have like, yes, this is the game button. <laughs> they just let you type it and uh, you ha just have to hope that, yeah, yeah, it's here. <laughs> Hi, Jeez, welcome back. Yay, there you go. The chat is the chat stayed pink, so that's nice. I like it. I like the pink. <laughs> All right, so we restarted. Uh actually, I forgot fucking hell. Just when I thought internet was goddamn Okay. Oh, never mind. It's fine. Is it? Please don't go back to red. Anyways, so last time, uh, we were on the boat. I, uh, a boat. <laughs> we were on a ship. We were kidnapped by a, a person in a mask. I have a, I have a very big suspicion that it's actually a girl, even though most of them be like, ah, man, a man in a mask kidnapped me. But I, I think the first time I saw it, I was like, eh, that, that art kind of seems like a statue of a girl, but who knows? Who knows? But anyways, I was suspicious of that. We were kidnapped, we were put on a boat, and now we have to do escape room style puzzles to get out of the ship and survive, basically. Oh yeah, we did it! Watch this! <laughs> Just a manly girl. <laughs> I don't know. He, he, they're also using a voice changer, which kind of makes me think like, aha, uh -huh, you know, there's a possibility. A girl. And it might be one of us. Probably one of the girls. Where am I? Oh, yeah. Hey, look, look. Uh, you have been chosen as the woman. Uh, have you heard of the uh, sorry, glycerin one? Thousand times are victims to the pathic mechanism. <laughs> I would just uh, uh, about God, maybe about devil. Not our game. I am zero. There you go. That's our kidnapper. <laughs> Who the fuck is this? That to seek a way out. Look at me reading all this. <laughs> seek a door that carries a nine. What was that hug? Oh my gosh, is this a dating thing? Nine hours, that is the time we will be given to make your escape. <laughs> you know, it said, the title says nine hours. Oh, I am zero. Now that I think about it, Code Geass, my boy. It's zero. Anyways, uh, it says nine hours, nine persons, nine doors. Hi, Edison. But, well, we technically did start it out with nine persons, but... N number nine just died. Number die. Uh, number nine just died immediately in the beginning. <laughs> so we have code names except for the main character, cause our goddamn childhood friend be like, "Hey, Junpei," and I'm like, and they're like, "Hey," uh, and they're like, "Bitch, you shouldn't say information about yourselves. What if Zero is uh, watching and now she knows information about you?" And they're like, oh shit. But I already said Junpei's. And so people were like, uh, well, we'll just make a code except for you because now we know your name. <laughs> so everyone has a code except for our main character. And that's fine. All right. So uh, yeah, let's continue. <laughs> Nalin. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> thanks. Thanks. All right, let's continue. Our stupid childhood friend. I'll go. Oh yeah, this guy is blind. What? And this is his sister. Don't worry. What is You'll that be under her eyes? Is that moles? We may part now, but I'm certain we'll meet again later. How do you know that? Because I do. <laughs> All right. That's <laughs> not an answer. If you're going, I'm going too. I'm going into door five. Oh yeah, uh, 
the ninth person died in door five and so <laughs> people were like hey we're not going there actually one lady lotus was like i ain't going there i don't want to see a dead body right lotus was like that <laughs> kill your childhood friend <laughs> that's some weird noises what do you mean weird noises i'm concerned from the game oh yeah anyways lotus was like uh there's only like three girls in this group anyways uh lotus lady in a oh moles oh wait fuck i'm blind fucking hell <laughs> oh my god <laughs> anyways lotus the girl in the dancer outfit and i guess the biggest boobs out of all the girls in this group which is only three uh was like I ain't going to door five because I don't want to see a dead body, right? And I was like, well, lady, all right, fuck you then. And uh, and my boy, my best boy, Bias, <laughs> my Bias, <laughs> Santa was like, hey, uh, Santa was like, hey, I'm, I'm not going to uh, door five. And they were like, why? And he was like, you know, I just bought my shoes. I don't want it to get stained by all the blood. And I'm like, cool. That's not very reasonable. I, I, I understand your reason. All right, you can go to door four instead. <laughs> my, bi <laughs> my bias is real. <laughs> all right. What am I going to do with you? Oh yeah, there's a rule as to how we can go. Because each of us has numbers. Oh, very reasonable. <laughs> All right, uh, there's a rule as to where we can go, right? The doors have numbers on them, and we also have um, watches that corresponds to our number. And the thing is, uh, all of our numbers have to be equal to nine, or uh, not equal to nine, but like uh, example if. Uh, well, they, they'll show it. They'll show it. I can't explain it that good. There's nothing you have to do. <laughs> if I join you, the problem is solved, correct? Seven is seven. There you go. Is You're two. explaining it. That's nine, right? <laughs> oh, wait. Internet bad. Let, oh, let's wait. All right. There you go. It's green. Uh, there you go. Seven and snake is two. So nine. And if you add clovers four in my one, the digital root will be five. Fuck. They didn't explain it. All right, so seven plus two, <laughs> seven plus two would be nine, right? And four plus one would be five. So nine plus four is equals to five. Nine, nine, no, nine plus five is equals to fourteen, right? I, yeah, it has to not add up to nine, but that this is the thing. So, uh, it it's equal to fourteen, right? Oh, not add up to 9. Never mind. It's not add up to 9. It has to add up to 5. Because that's the number on the door, right? So, 14 is the equals of all the numbers they have, right? But since 14 is a two-digit number, you need uh, you add up the two numbers in that, which is 1 and 4, right? So, 1 and 4 is equals to 5. That's basically how it goes <laughs> that's what they call digital root apparently you just add keep adding the numbers in until you get a single digit basically seven plus two plus four plus one is 14 the mm -hmm. digital root of 14 oh, there you go they explain it <laughs> i didn't have to explain it <laughs> Oh, it works perfectly. The four of us can go into door five. Yeah, what about us? Great. What about the other four? What's their digital root gonna be? Lotus, Santa, June, and me. <laughs> I laugh whenever I hear the head voice because of the echo, whatever. Our bracelet numbers are eight, three, six, and five. Eight, three, six, five. What would our digital root be? Eleven. Eleven? Twenty-two. Two plus two is four. There we go. Hi, Hamid! Eight plus three plus six plus five is twenty-two. The digital root of twenty-two... 
four. It's four. Add up our four bracelet numbers and the digital root is four. Then we can go into door four. Yeah. Huh. That worked out well. This is my bias. This is Santa, by the way. <laughs> Sorry, I peeked there a little bit. I, I just get excited when I see my bias. <laughs> Snack. So the team assignments will be like this. Seven, Snake, Clover, and Ace. They would go through door five. Lotus, Santa, June, and me will go through door four. Yeah. Are these really the teams I want? Beyond door five is what remains of the ninth man. Yeah. I never want to see that thing again, but something's telling me that it'd be a good idea to examine the corpse, even just a little closer. Is there a way for us to go there? Of course, if I went through door five, I wouldn't be going with Lotus and Santa. I could bring June with me through door five, but that means she'd have to see her. I don't care about June! June is our childhood friend. We know our, uh, her name? Fuck, I forgot her name. Let's just call her June. I gave her your, her nickname. Because she was going to be like, Oh no, I should give you my name because I gave Junpei's name accidentally and people and we were like uh no just just go with the nickname your your sis Jun now <laughs> and she didn't have a choice as to why her name is Jun but it's Jun now <laughs> should I stay silent and go through door four Ooh. or should I stop them and insist on door five. Do I want to see the All body? Right I mean, for plot purposes, I would like to see the body. Bias purposes, I want to go through do door four because my bias is there. <laughs> my bias. Oh no. It seems we've reached a conclusion. Shall we go? I'm going through door five. We're over there too, right, Snake? The door's not going anywhere. Slow down. I... Which door? <laughs> Bias or plot purposes? <laughs> uh, I do want to see the body, but... Santa! I want to hear more of Santa! <laughs> Santa, my best boy! <laughs> Uh, I anyway, like how. Uh, would it be important? I wonder. Would they put. I don't think they'll put like a very big um, plot point in the beginning, right? I don't think this will be like a decisive factor to my ending if there is multiple endings, because I do not know if there are. Uh. A bias. <laughs> Aesthetics over meta, here we go. This is the whole reason for my Hasbando gaming in Genshin. Hasbando over meta, go! <laughs> I'll go through door four with Lotus, Santa, and June. Yes. Oh, maybe I should have saved. There's All nothing right. to worry about. I just need to stay by her side. I want to stay by Santa's side. I don't know what you're talking about, Junpei. <laughs> this should be fine. It's no problem this way. All right. I should see the other four off. Why is Junpei's? Looks like Ace and the others are going. Wait a moment. Let me reload this just to check if uh, everything's updated. But I think everything is. Oh wow, there's four of you. Hi, hello, welcome. What do we look like? Oh, uh, I don't know if we're gonna see each, uh, ourselves again. We have, we're a basic, basic brown-haired guy with a jacket that's blue and has a plaid um, shirt. Red played shirt in inside I think if I remember correctly <laughs> I don't know we look like a basic boy <laughs> oh no internet bad 
Let's wait, let's wait. There we go, it's back. We're basic bitch boy. Uh. Now then, goodbye. Right. Be careful. This is Lotus. <laughs> I was so annoyed when she was like, I ain't going there. But when Santa said her his reasoning, I was like, oh yeah, okay. Understandable. Alright, you can go to the other floor. <laughs> the bias is real. Uh, <laughs> Alright, they're going first. Maybe we can still take a look at the body. Oof. Oh yeah, he explodes. Uh, if you don't go through... Uh, everyone who like put their hands on, or numbers on the door has to go in and also get out or else they explode because we have a bomb that we swallowed apparently. And I was like, why can't you just poop it out? Don't any one of you like induce some diarrhea right now and just poop it out? <laughs> Because, <laughs> I mean, Zero, our kidnapper, I guess, said we can't vomit it, but I was like, hey, maybe, you know, there's still another way out of the digestive system. Maybe you can just poop it out. I mean, even if we get out of here, it's not like we're gonna get a surgery to remove that the thing, right? I assume you'll be able to poop it out. Just poop it out. <laughs> But anyways, so horrible. You can just take a sneak peek. What are you doing? We need to hurry. Just poop for the fire, right? What? What do you care? I. But I mean, I guess no didn't really help us on a sinking boat. <laughs> the uh, the ship is sinking, and it's estimated to sink in nine hours. Snake, your shoes. <laughs> Your shoes! Everyone. It's fine. Hurry! Just poop on the floor. So or are you see. planning on dying with everyone else? I assume you haven't forgotten the door only remains open for nine seconds, have you? Sorry, Snake! Let's go! Yeah, snake and see. You can just poop in front of Snake. <laughs> snake won't mind, I think. I mean, hey, he'll smell it, I guess. How is it over there? It. I assume if you're blind, you have heightened senses, so that also would suck for you. Hi, Santa. Did you find anything? Please say something, will you? Uh, something's beeping. It's just like before. Probably the sound of the detonator on the bracelet. Do you think they're okay? They have 91 seconds. That's a long ass time. Uh. They just need to get through hey, the whole thing. That's gotta be that dead thing. Come on, get over here. We gotta authenticate. There you go. The beeping. Whew. Looks like it stopped. Hey, guys. Are you doing alright over there? Yep, we're fine. Oh, hey. I'm gonna tell you about this whole dead thing, okay? The dead is just like the red. But the color is different. Alright. Is it blue? You know the red was red? Well, the dead is oh, blue. Oh, it's blue. It is blue. Wow. Amazing. <laughs> Other than that, it's just like the red. All right. Cool. Authenticating is the same, too. So just put your hand. <laughs> awesome. Thanks. That helps a lot. Well, All right. we should probably move on now. You be careful out there. Roger that. All right, let me go with my bias. <laughs> All right, my... Now it's our turn. If we ever need to split up again, my idea is to go with Santa as much as we can, right? That is my goal for this game. I don't think it will matter much. I'm not sure. I'm not sure because I don't really know how this game ends, actually. I just know, like, I vaguely remember, like, the first two rooms vaguely that includes the the first room the tutorial room which is the, the 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 first room we woke up in uh the second i actually don't remember but i'll probably vaguely like some of it remember once we get there 
Uh, but I've never really seen much of this game. <laughs> you like Ace? <laughs> I mean, yeah. You, it seems nice. That's your bias. <laughs> uh, with the other characters, I don't really have anyone else. I'll go else. first. I like, I like the other dude. I like Seven. The big dude. With the scar on his face. With the big lips. I like that dude. Okay. I don't like any of the girls. Yeah. Sure. Let's go. I mean Lotus, I, I always complain with Lotus, but I think she's the most likable girl out of All them. Alright. Let's go. <laughs> Cause June June, I hate June. <laughs> Run! Hey, it does look nice. <laughs> oh, damn. It's counting down. Yeah, go! What you waiting for? We can't go back. We need to hurry and find the. We device. already know what we have to do. Hey, so just where the hell find is the it. dead? How would I know? Don't give me that crap. Start looking. We just need to find the door with something. I already am. <laughs> Don't tell me the dead is in one of those rooms. Oh no! How many rooms do you think there are? Ah, fuck! We have 91 we seconds. Have we have four count. people. Go. We just need to open them all. It, it won't open. Then it's not. Same here. Then that means it's not where the dead is. It's probably. not moving. Oh. There it is. At the end of the hallway. Hey, how many more seconds do we have? How would I know? How that doesn't seem like it's 81 seconds. Oh, it's it was 81, not 91. Did they say you how many seconds we have left? Hurry! It's the dead! Get over! Come on, everyone! Oh, there you go. Ooh, I like the dead. It's silver. I wouldn't call it blue. Like I would call the red actually as yell as gold and then the dead as silver. <sighs> Rather than the other colors they have. I mean technically it has blue in it. And the uh, red has red in it, but I feel like the gold is more prominent and the silver is more prominent. But who knows? <laughs> That's just me. <laughs> Jen is too uh, unreliable. Like yeah, <laughs> she is. She also got a fever, like immediately after seeing the dead body, the knight's dead body, right? From peeking through the door, she was like, she just collapsed. I'm like, god damn, I don't, I don't really, I don't really like this girl. <laughs> also, the beginning, in the beginning, she tripped on the stairs and fall on us. I was like, oh no, <laughs> no, not like this, I don't want this. Don't tell me we're supposed to have like a somehow, somewhat romantic relation with this girl. Damn, yes, basically, but this is a pretty old game, it was like... I don't know, 2009? I don't, I don't know. So those kinds of tropes were really popular back then, so I, I understand. But still, it's so cringe. <laughs> <sighs> There's another door at the end of the hallway. Let's try this one first. I mean, and of course it won't open. I mean, Lotus complains a lot, but at least she knows what she wants, you know? <laughs> She's a strong, independent woman who will not take any other people's shit, right? <laughs> a keyhole. What's this mark? It mail? No, not exactly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's probably the symbol of Mars. June is the our solar system symbol expert, by the way. What a coincidence we have someone who knows all the goddamn symbols. Well, technically, they are the same symbol, but I saw a number of similar symbols near the main stairway. The symbols of the solar system. Oh, th that's right. What a coincidence, you know that. The sun, Saturn, and Earth. At least that's what I'm assuming. So this isn't the man symbol. It's a symbol for Mars? I think so, yes. I see. Wait, where's Santa? Where's our boy? Where's our best boy? Yeah, so, I looked the place over. I <laughs> look at him, yes. Here's the deal. None of the other doors open. All then right. that must mean... We only have one place to go to. 
We only have two more doors. Maybe it's the room number. The door on the left has a B92, and the one on the right says B93. You can just right, check them. Let's open them. I'll open B92. Okay, I'll get B93 then. One. What was that? Hey, it opened. Yeah, it did. I, uh, I didn't expect that. All right, it was so both of them so open. Maybe this is all part of Zero's plan. Can't say I enjoy being treated like someone's puppet. Well, now we have these two rooms. I'm sure there's something in there that will help us get out of here. Let's find it. Santa and I will search this room. You two take the other one. No. All right. I want to be with Santa. Okay. Oh shit. Oh yeah, escape room time. Fuck. All right, cool. There you go. There's our character. Although it's just the eyes. <laughs> Seek a way out. Mm. So there's a bathroom, uh, some sort of living room, kind of, and a bedroom. Alright. Oh, suddenly there's no more voice acting in this game? Dang, then some really dance music. Is it too loud or is it fine? The face looks expensive. I wonder how much we could get for it. Are you gonna steal it? <laughs> Alright, cool. <laughs> this is kind of a weird looking picture. Do you think it's an abstract painting or something? I mean, it's pretty abstract, so I guess so. That's kind of like a demon with an elephant like. No, fucking head. Internet bad! There you go. Kind of looks like a demon with an elephant like nose. Where are you say seeing it? Sucking on the human being's brain. June, you need to see a psychologist. I don't think those are healthy looking images in your mind. Where the hell did that come from? What's her brain made of? Can't say I'd mind finding out a little more about what goes on in there. Where's the demon? I mean, this is an elephant trank, but why demon? Why? And where's the brain? What the fuck? Cool. Uh-huh. It's a kind of weird looking picture. It's some sort of weird black and white design. Looks like there's a room on the right of this picture. Alright. Oh no, I didn't mean to click. Wait. Waiting for internet to become stable. Uh, oh wait, there you go, it's green? No. The hell man. There you go, it's green. Looks like a valuable vase, empty though. Looks like there's a room to the right. Uh -huh. It kept selling us that. Jumpy, where are you going? Oh my god. <laughs> Um, I was thinking of... I was thinking of going over to Lotus room. Do you think maybe you could look around here a little more before you go? There's a lot for me to do here all by myself. Uh-huh. Oh, we can go there. Um... Alright. It's just a shower head. There's nothing special about it. There's a little blue pot form protruding from the shower wall next to the knobs. It's worth putting soap on. I used to shower once, so I know. I used to shower once? Once, Junpei? That's concerning. <laughs> Alright. Uh huh. Well, I guess I if they're. Uh, Based on Japan, they would be using the bath more than a shower, so I, I guess I understand. <laughs> Just once! Oh my god. 
<laughs> Hi, Kim! That's the shower knob. Let's see if anything happens when you turn it. The water's coming out. Alright. That's the bathroom wall. There are square tiles all over it. I can see that. The walls covered it with square tiles. They've all got geometric shapes in them. <laughs> what I miss? Apparently Junpei have knows what the soap uh what do you call it? The soap holder, soap stand on the wall is because he has used a shower once. <laughs> once in his life. Here. A soap holder. <laughs> Just stop saying obvious, right? My God, I want to see that line again. I I know that because I've used the shower once. The way he said it seems like he was so proud of it. He was so proud of knowing what the, a soap holder is. <laughs> Let's just double check. Alright. So shower now. There's no water coming out of the shower. A collection of full and partially depleted rolls of toilet, uh, toilet paper. Someone was well prepared. There's nothing too suspicious about it. Now let's check the toilet. There's nothing in, nothing there. The tank is empty too. So you're saying we can't poop it out here? No, actually, we can still poop it out uh, and use the American way or Western way of like using just using toilet paper, I guess. There isn't, even, there isn't even any water in it. I mean, the room has will stink, but at least we can get rid of the bomb. <laughs> the shower curtains, huh? Let's try closing it. Ah, uh, alright. Now I can see the full expanse of the shower curtain in all its waterproof glory. There's nothing. Suspicious? It's just a normal old shower cart. <laughs> Why is it suspicious if it's normal? A narrow shower, and I'm standing in it with you. <laughs> My god, Junpei, please. This is awkward. Mm, time to open the curtain. What? Uh, very important. <laughs> Completely dry. Collection, uh huh. Alright, nothing. Cool. Uh, yeah, why don't we go back to the living room? Okay, let's go back. You alright? Goddamn, Junpei. Please, keep your eyes on Santa, my dude. It's a table made of food. Hey, there's something in there. Looks like a box of matches. Alright, we got matches then. Ooh. Oh yeah, how's your fever? You feeling better now? Oh, suddenly voice acting. Cool. Yes, I'm fine. Let me see your forehead. Let me see your forehead! <laughs> I just feel weird about that. Because <laughs> I think he actually means like, let me feel it, right? Like, let me put my hand on it. But let me see it. We like, <laughs> just put it like this. You can see it now. What do you want? Oh! I <laughs> guess it really has gone down. Are you... <laughs> Worried about me? I mean, I would be the one dealing with you if you collapse here right now. Uh, don't think too much about it, girl. <laughs> oh no, is this dating sim options? What? I didn't... I don't remember this about this game. Well, I mean, this was released into DS and I saw it first on the DS and I didn't even get through much of this game. I didn't remember there being many choices. And then the char <laughs> just seen up here. Oh my god. I don't really want I don't really care about this girl. I'm here for Santa. Like I would take Lotus more than June. June is like so <laughs> annoying. <laughs> Not really, but she's like just not, you know. Well, I could say yeah, I guess I am, because I don't want you to be like a dead weight on my end. <laughs> Is that too harsh? 
Uh, come on, hey, come on. It's, uh, feel like hey, come on is too much of a denial. Yeah, I guess I am. It just seems casual and it's like, of course, uh, I mean, we have to stick together as a team, you know? So, yeah. I need some help, kind of. If you have some help besides telling me what signs of the solar system the, the signs on the door are, you know? <laughs> Uh, let's just say hey, come on, it's not like that. <laughs> not really see the way it's phrased kind of makes me be like, yeah, I guess I am. It's the better choice. <laughs> I I think we don't really have to think too much about this. I don't know. Is is this game that advanced? Is all does all my matter uh, does all my choice matter in this game? <laughs> but she can be bait in the future. <laughs> Let's just, oh, all right, fine. Let's just hey, come on, first one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's just go first one. Let's just be like, hey, yeah, yeah. Trust yeah, me, yeah. girl. I, I guess I am. There you go. I like the way she he delivered that. Not in denial, cause feeling. I feel like being in denial is more suspicious. <laughs> being more upfront about it makes it seem like you don't really care that much. <laughs> By the way, Jumpy, uh -huh. hmm? how did you end up here? Uh, I was kidnapped. I thought we talked about this before. What do you mean? I told you earlier, didn't I? There was a man with a gas here. mask when you got home at night. This, this, for some reason, it doesn't look like a man to me. I feel like it's more of a girl. I don't know about you. But they also mentioned it was like, well, I guess I I can't really say if that was a man. And I was like, all right, my suspicions are true. I think they're hinting that this man, this zero person, is actually girl. Plot twist kind of thing. This is an old game though, so it's kind of obvious, I guess. <laughs> you inhaled some white smoke and passed out. When you woke up, you were on D deck. Damn straight. Damn straight. We've but is that really the truth? Before. What do you mean you're saying I'm lying, bitch? What? Jumpy, are you hiding something from me? What the fuck? And it's June, right? I also said that. I feel like maybe it's June. Because they're, they're bringing it up too much that we're childhood friends. We haven't seen each other in like years, 10 years or something. No, why would I? Well, if you think about it, this is awfully suspicious. What do you mean? I mean, why would two childhood friends bump into each other in a place like this? I don't know, bitch! I was kidnapped! <laughs> hey, I could ask you the same thing. Right? <laughs> yeah, get mad, Junpei. Are you hiding something? What would I hide? Then what would I hide, girl? <laughs> Well, I, I don't know. <laughs> Anything. I mean, you're hiding it. How would oh, I know? Oh, she stopped without you by revealing your name, right? God damn it. I'm the only one with no cool ass nickname in this bit, in this place because of this bit. You mean like the number of men I've dated? I don't care about that. <laughs> Do you want to know? Man, this girl is weird. <laughs> I don't remember this happening before. <laughs> don't worry. Only 18. Yeah. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I am I am uncomfortable right now. <laughs> Time zero. What is this girl is a player? <laughs> yeah. I guess I just haven't met Mr. Wright yet. I never ask. I don't care. No, no, I, I, I see. What? Anyway, I'm not hiding anything. I'm so good, please. Just like you, Jumpy. All right. You were the one who was suspicious of me. When I woke up, I was on D deck. <laughs> oh my God, well, you, you do have a point. I 
mean, why did Zero pick us? We haven't seen each other since elementary school. Right? This girl, it, this girl is Zero. We're calling it now in the beginning. I mean, I called it first episode. I was like, you know, it's probably a girl and it's probably June because she's our childhood friend and that makes it more of a plot twist. Uh, but who knows? Yeah, we're calling it now. Zero is June. If we're wrong, then we'll deal with it. If we're not right, uh, if we're right, then well, all right, cool. <laughs> hmm, I wonder. Look for what connects the victims. That will lead you to the culprit. That would mean like everyone else has a connection, right? Because uh, two of the other characters are siblings. Probably Lotus, Santa, Ace, and Seven has some of a connection with each other, you know? Probably. Although that doesn't make sense, because if the no... I guess the ninth person, because I was going to say like two, each two of them has some sort of connection with each other, but uh, let's see. But we have a ninth person who died pretty immediately. But then again, I feel like the ninth person was killed very intentionally in the beginning, so that we'll have an example as to what would happen if we did something wrong, right? So he was more of an example. So I think the nine person was more of a random one. And there's all, only supposed to be like eight people. And each two would have a connection. Do you remember Seven saying something like that? Hmm. Yeah. I wonder I how so. the others are connected. Because uh, they kind of... I think Seven is the most suspicious. I think Seven probably knows someone else. I'm not sure if everyone knows that they have a connection with someone, but I think Seven might know that he has a connection with someone else because he was the one who was like, Hey, don't give out your information because uh, you know that might be dangerous. And so maybe he's like keeping it a secret for other people maybe. I don't know. Well, that's what I'm saying. I think this must all have something to do with a classmate of ours. You got any ideas who it might be? No, nothing. Oh. Well, if it had something to do with school, then it could be one of our teachers, or maybe the principal? It's you. Or the janitor. Or the lunch lady. Oh, I can barely remember any of them. I mean, I would say that I wouldn't remember anyone from elementary. <laughs> Unless I'm still, uh, you know, seeing them to this day. Yeah, I know. Alright, oh yeah, we're supposed to investigate. Ah, what's uh, that? <laughs> Jumpy, what are you doing? We don't have time to be relaxing on the sofa. I'm investigating the sofa, alright? It's, uh, it's a display case, but there's nothing being displayed. How sad. Looks like the drawers are empty too. It's a sofa. Maybe I shouldn't sit on it. Jill will get mad again. How about she does something else? There's nothing in the display case. The drawers are empty too. What about a table? It's a round wooden table. Alright, nothing else. Alright. Maybe we can burn the roof <laughs> with our mat. This isn't a painting. Is it a map? It looks like a map of the ship's interior. Oh, this is a great find. I think it will be really useful. Let's take it with us. It is now possible to use the map screen. Map screen. The map screen can only be viewed during the story sections. While on the map screen, you can examine a map of the, in the ship's floor plan, will, which you will acquire over the course of the story. Clicking the green parts of the floor plan will allow you to see a bird's eye view for that room. <sighs> this ship is bigger than I thought. Alright. <laughs> yeah, it's probably about 900 feet long. How many feet are that? Must be one of those fancy <laughs> cruise ships. H how long is that? Of course, that? it I doesn't no really look like a cruise idea. ship. Everything in here is really retro. Huh. 
Even if it's just some sort of style choice, there's just too much. Do you remember what Zero said? Is this the Titanic? Are we on the Titanic? Oh no, never mind. We're not on the Titanic. He just used that as an example as to how many hours it uh, a ship could take before it sink. That's a lot of feet, <laughs> indeed. Do you think maybe this boat and the Titanic have something to do with each other? Mm. Hmm, that's a good point. I doubt he would have mentioned it if there wasn't a reason. Hmm. Do you think this boat is... Not the actual Titanic, a replica of the Titanic? A replica of the Titanic? A replica? Yeah, you know, like a copy of the actual boat. Who on earth would make something like that? I don't know, rich people with too much time on it and money on their hands, you know? People do that. I think there's actually a Titanic replica, right? I think that someone already made a replica of the Titanic. Wasn't there like in the news or something that someone was building or someone already made it? Like it's finished? I don't know. I think someone already did. And like it's expected to sail even. Fans. Crazy Titanic fans. Yeah. There no way. Do you even know how much money that would take? Do you know how much money this ship would take? Someone already set this up. I'm sure they had a lot of so much money. No idea. But all they've got to do is break even, you know? Break even? Yeah, they could use it as a cruise ship. Climb aboard a piece of history, sail around the world in the resurrected Titanic. Yeah, but then, but there's some marketing Hell, game with here. marketing like that, they'd probably have more customers than they'd know what to do with. Wow, Titanic is around 900 feet. I searched. It said, whoa! God damn, Junpei, what's with this knowledge? How do you know that the, the Titanic is like about 900 feet or like about looking at looking at the type of size of this map? I think this, uh, this ship is like around 900 feet. God damn, we have knowledgeable people in this group. <laughs> Do you really think people would want to ride on a ship with such an ominous past? They already do, I think. People are stupid like that, June. <laughs> I think I think this game did not account that people would actually try to remake the Titanic. Cause someone already did, right? Can someone search and confirm that for me? That someone tried to rebuild? Tried or already rebuilt uh, like a replica of the Titanic. So I remember it going to news. I, I, I remember hearing a news about it like years ago. This game is pretty old so maybe it wasn't like a news at that time. Uh, but they probably did not expect people to be like, Hey, you remember that ship that sank? Well, we're gonna replicate it. <laughs> and make it go through the same path, the same route as the original Titanic. Will there be icebergs? Oh no, no, global warming. <laughs> cool, all right. It's the site of the worst accident in history. Uh, over 1,500 people died. I wouldn't be surprised if you'd get cursed just for going. I mean, that's technically not that much of a big number if you consider how many deaths we've had. But yeah, it is quite sad. <laughs> a curse, huh? Jumpy, do you believe in that sort of thing? You know, curses and stuff? Personally, no. No. But does this game believe in that? <laughs> Am I thinking too much about my choices? I'm gonna just say no. Sorry, but I, I can't really say I believe in that kind of stuff. There you go. <laughs> his, uh, his answer is a little bit more flat than the... the I, I, just, I thought the choices was a bit too much aggressive. They are trying to build a Titanic. See? See? <laughs> Fucking hell. Uh, what about you? No, I, I guess that's kind of a dumb question. They did not account that someone would actually try to... 
And yeah, I remember reading about it that they were like, hey, we expect this to sail the same route as the Titanic, you know, just because. <laughs> right? And I'm like, oh no, June, June, you don't know what you're saying. There are too many crazy people in the world that would actually want to do that. <laughs> Like it's used for Olympic purposes. Ooh, nice. Yes, I do believe in curses. In fact, I think it was a curse that sunk the Titanic. Not the iceberg? <laughs> what? <laughs> a curse sank the Titanic. All right, cool. Give me your um conspiracy theory then. The curse of the Egyptian mummy. All right, cool. Supposedly, the Titanic carried this the mummy of the into, priestess This went into a direction that I did not expect. So I guess this game, Billy, this in this game, there's probably like um, ghosts, not really ghosts, but uh, supernatural things, I guess we can say. Which was stolen from a pyramid. All right, stolen? And they say that the mummy had a history. I mean, it's a mummy. Of course it has a history. Everyone involved with it died mysterious deaths. Where is this info coming from? I've never heard of this. <laughs> Fuck up, Karen, with your conspiracy. <laughs> Everyone be hating on June. <laughs> Come on, I'm sure you've heard of it before. No, I don't. I don't think I've heard of it. June? Those who open the coffin will be forever cursed. <laughs> uh, haven't you ever heard that and one? They overlooked or didn't see the eyes. Were there? You go, June. <laughs> I've never heard of this, June. I have never heard. So you're saying the Titanic sunk because of that curse? Oh no! Please don't believe in this, Junpei. But I guess this is the game, so probably it's probably gonna be real, right? That's right. <laughs> That's I mean, stupid. they're saying I don't it, buy it, and our character doesn't believe it, which means it's real. Game logic means it's real. It's true. Naya in self-created prophecy. <laughs> I guess it's true now. We have to believe him, her. <laughs> wait, let's wait for it to become stable again. Internet bad. There you go. I agree with Junpei. I mean, I believe Junpei as well, but game logic says it's probably gonna be real in this game, right? How can you be so sure? That mummy wasn't just a normal mummy. Why? It was really mysterious. Totally unbelievable. Why? Uh, do you have proof? Did you see it yourself? What is so unbelievable about it? Where did you get... What are your sources, lady? Well, supposedly, she was really pretty. I is that it? Pretty? Yes. But she was a mummy. That's right. She wasn't all shriveled up or rotten or anything. She almost looked alive. There were a lot of cases like that, although more on like being stuck in a cold place i guess so that you wouldn't expect that in a mummy in a desert right <laughs> because it's not <laughs> totally unbelievable <laughs> because it's not your truth. oh okay, i get it okay it's that thing i uh, i don't remember the name uh where your body turns into some kind of wax that was a thing is that a thing the fat in it turns into something kind of like i guess that's wax, right that's and understandable i think Junpei makes sense yes saponification but that's not what it was huh that's not it she wasn't wax that's stupid, don't buy it. <laughs> then what was it? They say that she was frozen. In the, the desert. What? Frozen? That's right. The whole body was frozen solid. You know how a human body is more than 60% water? Well, all of that water was frozen. The story says that from the time of its discovery, all the way through to when it got put on the Titanic. Even though it was carried through the desert, her body never melted. And I mean, she was in the desert to begin with, so I would be 
uh, quite confused as to why it gets frozen. But then again, the deserts do get like really cold at night, right? Like snow can is possible in deserts. It's like the temperature drops really quickly when it turns night. That's crazy. <laughs> I think so too, but maybe it's true and we just didn't know about it before. I didn't know? Yep. Maybe it's common sense to eat shaved ice in the desert because it lasts forever. Alright, cool! Huh? Th nah, that seems too silly to be true. Don't, don't deny it, Junpei. Just, just go with it. You can't make sense of this. <laughs> you just be like, uh-huh. That, that, but maybe that's it interesting. isn't. It cool. just appears that way because you didn't know it was true. Maybe the Egyptians were a genius and created a freezer. I mean, that's true. If we think about it, Egyptians were pretty, uh, pretty advanced. You know, kind of advanced, pretty advanced, civil, civil, something, right? Uh, so maybe, maybe they knew how to make a goddamn freezer in the desert and make ice that don't melt through the desert. Because it's so hot in the desert and they need the ice. Well, yeah. Um, <laughs> ice that doesn't melt even in the desert? Does, does something like that really exist? Uh, don't question it. Just live with it. <laughs> no, even if it did, it wouldn't really be ice anymore, would it? Why wouldn't it be ice? It can still be ice in the name of science and molecules. Uh, they're pretty advanced. They worship cats. <laughs> true, true, true. They knew what matters the most. Hmm. Alright, fuck. I forgot that we're investigating. <laughs> A wooden cup lord. There are cups inside, surprising no one. Well, it's not only cups you can put in a cup board, you know. Maybe there's other things. It's a bottle with water in it. This is a bedroom. They probably have it here because your throat always feels dry when you wake up, you know? Do they? Oh, dry ice! Oh yeah, dr dry ice still melts. <laughs> but I guess dry ice is not water. <laughs> it's hydrogen, isn't it? Uh, my throat's dry, but I think that's... Uh, my throat's dry, but I think that's because I'm a little nervous right now. Why? Well, we did run a lot, so we're kind of sweaty. Hey, Jumpy, did you want to take a shower together? This girl! What the fuck? Whoa! <laughs> Just kidding. See you later today. Jumpy! Don't fall for this! Too late to take it back. My brain's already working out the picture. My throat was dry already. This sure isn't helping. Dry ice doesn't actually melt. It sublimates, changing directly from solid to a gas. But isn't there liquid dry ice? Oh no, that's liquid nitrogen, isn't it? Wait. Is dry ice made of nitrogen, not hydrogen? Fuck. I forgot this already. I guess it does sublimate, but some of it some of it melts, but that's probably another compound in it, right? I it, it might have been nitrogen. I, I don't remember. <laughs> that's a weird bed frame. I guess that's to prevent you from falling off your bed, considering it's a ship, so it, it will wave, right? The light blue blanket with some designs on it. Someone made the bed, or at least never unmade it. Carbon dioxide. It's CO2. Wow, none of the elements that I said were there! <laughs> I think you make it with nitrogen, right? You freeze it with nitrogen, I think, because... Wait, is it nitrogen? There's another, another thing that's like liquid. Liquid nitrogen, was it? That uh, you need like liquid 
nitrogen to like cool CO2 to make it into dry ice. I don't know, something like that. Because you can't really cool it in a normal way, right? You can't freeze it. I don't remember, man. I forgot all those things. <laughs> Someone probably kept putting dry ice on the mummy. Yeah, I mean, technically, technically the dry ice is just carbon dioxide, but to freeze it, you need something else, is what I mean. And I think that might be liquid nitrogen. What was, what was that freezing thing? <laughs> the freezing thing. Oh, like, oh, liquid. Damn. There's liquid carbon dioxide. I guess there will be. I mean, I guess most elements can be of the three states, right? Or is it just for air? Is it just for uh, gas ones? Weird stuff. What was ni liquid nitrogen for? I feel like I hear a lot about liquid nitrogen then. But I think it's just like a really high freezing thing. So people test it out when they want things to freeze into a liquid nitrogen. I think that's pretty much what it was. <laughs> But I think I remember seeing liquid nitrogen and then dry ice a lot <laughs> in videos. <laughs> Maybe that's why I get confused. I don't know. <laughs> there's only bed sheets under the blanket. Look, there's two pillows next to each other. Now Junpei will imagine that him and June will be staying here. Liquid nitrogen is an innovative but the way for faster freezing of foods. Yeah, I think people just freeze a lot of stuff with liquid nitrogen, don't they? I feel that's why I remember dry ice and liquid nitrogen. Because dry ice is also pretty cool, right? Freeze, it's really cold. And then people also use li uh, liquid nitrogen for stuff. <laughs> I think I watch a lot of people just freezing random shit and, and stuff. And that's why I'm getting confused as to what is which. <laughs> I guess it's a double. Huh? Huh, what's up? You're turning red. Like... Wait. Like if you're gonna make ice cream and you want it to freeze fast, you can li use liquid nitrogen. It's not safe! <laughs> well, I guess if you use it outside the can, right? I guess that makes sense. <laughs> Plus, they say it's not as harmful as dry ice. Oh, I see, I see. That makes sense, that makes sense. Because <laughs> I remember people dipping their hands into liquid nitrogen. <laughs> I think that's a thing they do. <laughs> oh, what's up? You're turning red. Oh man, is there a fever back? Yeah, I just remember people like putting... <laughs> their hands in liquid nitrogen, but uh, for uh, car, uh, dry ice, I remember people like ha melting something and then putting dry ice in a box to freeze it fast to cool it down quickly. Kind of those kinds of things. I I watched weird stuff that I don't really understand. <laughs> she horny. Oh my god! Just to shut the fuck up. Hey, are you alright? You need to lay down for a minute. I I'm fine. I think it's still it's still a little early for that, huh? <laughs> hey, seriously, are you really okay, <laughs> Jun? Please, I want to get away from Jun quickly. Uh, we had no choice for the first room, I think, I, because I think that's because we had to hear about the mommy story. Either way, and that's why they gave us Jun, right? And they put the constriction that uh. The restriction that uh, eight, eight and um, three would have to go to room four, so that we'll have to go with June no matter what. Dresser key for which dresser? Oh. Is this the mirror for the dresser? And now she's playing with her hair. Does she even realize she's doing that? 
Hey, we don't have time for that. Come on, it's not like there's anyone here you need to impress. Yes, there is! Ooh. What? Why are you so quiet all of a sudden? Ah, forget it, Jumpy! <laughs> Fuck this floor, dude! <laughs> <laughs> Everyone hates June. <laughs> All right, a well polished mirror. I thought it was for the drawer. Is it not here? A chair that goes with the dresser. There's nothing particularly interesting about it. Did we explore everything? Maybe we should we should meet up with. What time is it? <laughs> We've only been complaining. <laughs> uh, maybe we can go? Jumpy, where are you going? Um, I was thinking of going over to Lotus Room. Why? What do you mean why? I'm just gonna go check up on them. Is there anything wrong with that? Well, no. Come back soon. Okay. Oh, there you go. Sure thing. I'll leave the rest to you. Sure. Leave it to me. Alright, off to the other room. She's acting cute and all, but she's not. Ahaha. Ah, ha. <laughs> she's annoying. Ahaha. Ah, ha. I think I found another C Catherine. <laughs> it is. She is kind of annoying, isn't she? Oh, ooh, it's a mirror of the other room. Looks like a valuable vase. Empty though. Seems to be a room on the left side of the vase. Oh, oh, my boy! Wow, alright. There's a square tile in this ring. It's good in there quite well. I don't think you can pick it out. Mm. Maybe we need to find the other pieces then? Because I think that might be the... S oh! It's the same. <laughs> Do you also know this because you took a shower once? This thing's a little shelf uh, for putting soap on. Oh, he's not gonna say it again. Whoa, look! Junpei! There's a mushroom growing out of the wall! Uh, does no one know shower heads? How? How? I thought we weren't that far back in the past. I mean, look at... Look at... Um, Santa here. He looks so fashionable for someone... That past. <laughs> no one knows shower heads. <laughs> maybe, maybe Junpei is the only one who has taken a shower in their life. <laughs> That's a shower knob. You try turning it, but no water comes out. Shower head, it's dry and doesn't look like it's been used in a while. All right. Shower knob. Doesn't matter how far you twist it, no water comes out. A shell you put so but nothing that's special. Alright. This is the bathroom wall. The whole wall is covered in the square tiles. A wall covered in small square tiles. They all they've all got geometric uh, geometric shapes on them. Some toilet paper. We've got two rolls, I guess. Is there anything in the toilet? Guess not. The tank's empty too. There's no curtain. The room this room doesn't have a shower curtain. This room? Well, um there were shower shower curtains in the bathroom that June was checking out. But you're saying this bathroom does not doesn't have any. Yeah, that's right. Hmm, there's probably a reason why. Hey, check this out! It's a pretty nice sofa. I know. It's a shame I can't take it back with me. What? <laughs> People just want to steal items from this ship. Huh? What's the matter, Santa? Why are you examining the sofa? Oh, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. Cool. A round wooden table. Wow, this is very nice wood. So, big deal. There is something on top of it. Candle? A candle with a candlestick. This might come in handy. Alright, uh, I guess I'm gonna have to 
use that with the other thing. Well, this is a display case. Check it out. These plates and shit look really expensive. You want to take a look? Oh. Come on, you stupid thing. Open. It's locked. Yeah, looks like that way. Looks that way. Then we need to find the key that opens it. I have a key. Shit, it's not opening. Alright, you grab that side of the table and I'll get the other. Let's smash this bitch open. I don't think that's going to work. Look like a tempered glass. I don't think throwing a table at it is going to break it. We have tempered glass, so it's not that old, right? Why do they not know showers? Around with the table, alright. Hey Junpei, the room's pretty dark. Don't you have something that will give us some light? Something that will give us some light. Uh, alright. Oh fuck. <laughs> the key? I didn't mean... This one, this one. I know, if I use this matches to light the candle... Maybe you need to go to the other dresser, maybe. We have candle. Noise. I didn't take a look at this, but... Junpei, did you find this key in the other room? Yeah. Then maybe that means... That means what? Oh fuck, wait. What does that mean? <laughs> so, you lit the candle. I'm sure it'll be a light in dark places when all the other lights go out. Awesome, with the light from the candle, maybe we can take a look around over there. But it gets so hot when I hold it. You have a goddamn candle! A uh, holder! I wanna put it down. Well, why don't you set it on top of the dresser? It's flat there and at least it won't fall over. Oh yeah, good idea. Hey, it got pretty bright. Now we can look around a little. Uh, well, let's look at something else first. Oh, the curtain. Anything under the blanket? Nope, nothing suspicious here. Two pillows in a pile. Oh. A pile of pillows. Is that supposed to be some kind of joke? Hey, calm down. Huh? Hey, what the hell? It just got dark all of a sudden. Maybe the candle got blown out? We should go see. Is this gonna be a horror event? What the fuck? There's a candlestick covered in melted wax on top of the dresser. Hey, what's this? On top of the candlestick looks kinda weird. Mm, you're right. It's all bumpy. Oh, maybe you have to make this room mirrored, right? I, 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 that's what I thought. Candlestick key? What the fuck? We haven't finished looking here. It's too dark to search for anything. Fuck. This is the mirror for the dresser. Damn straight. Nothing weird about it though. Let's see if this. Yes! It worked! Yeah, we need to get all the things then. The chair that goes to the dresser. There's nothing particularly interesting about it. Alright, let's go here, and I think this might be it. Let's see if this candlestick key will do anything. Yes, it opened! Alright, pull that shit open! There you go. Are we not gonna look for anything Hey, else? Junpei, you got a minute? Voice acting! Hmm? Here, take this. What's a that? bookmark. What is this for? Clover. Uh, do you want me to read a book? Can we give I it that clover? I found it in between some of the cushions on the sofa. Pretty sure it ain't gonna be any help to us, but I figured we might as well hang on to it anyway. Then why don't you hold on to it? 
<laughs> Do you think your boy, evil boy Santa would want a fork leaf clover? You know what I hate most in the world? Luck. I got four things. Four things. Hope, faith, love, and luck. <laughs> Hi, edgy boy. <laughs> Hope, faith, love, and luck? Cool. Damn straight. <laughs> and you Hi there, hate these boy. things? Yeah, you got a problem with that? No, uh, I didn't ask though. Uh, not really, but <laughs> what does a bookmark have to do with any of that? Is that the symbol of uh, the four things on the four leaf clover? Because I don't know. Well, see, each leaf on the four leaf oh, clover has a meaning to it. Only okay? Japan would know, right? Because they have that flower thing. And that meaning is pretty much those four words. It's like a flower language. Well, I guess it's not a flower, is Weed it? Language? So, <laughs> leaf language, I guess? Yeah, you could call them leaf words. Leaf words! <laughs> All leaf right. words. Hope, faith, love, and luck. The meaning of the leaves on a four-leaf clover. So, yeah, I want you to take it, okay? Just touching it gives me the creeps. Why didn't you give it to me earlier, then? Take the damn thing, all right? <laughs> okay, cool. Here. Then does he hate Clover? Because Clover is the nickname of one of our people. <laughs> no, take it, take it. I don't want my boy to be suffering, so I'ma take it. Oh wait, let's wait for internet to come back. All right, there you go. I'ma take it because boy, I don't want you to suffer, and I will do whatever you want me to do. All right, sure, I'll take it. Oh, man, I feel a lot better now. Cloverphobia. That thing was a real pain, you know? Cool. Do you really hate those four words that much? Yeah, well, they can all betray you, you know? I will never betray you. My my love for you is... <laughs> oh, no. Hope, faith, love, even your destiny. Well, that's not my only reason. What? That's not the only reason I hate the four-leaf clover. I just... Can't bring myself to like the number four. Oh my gosh, does he hate four then, Clover? What? Worried about the four horsemen? Then the edge, right? Oh, come on, man, that's just silly. There you go. Are we back? Are we back? Are we back? Are we back? I think we're back. But yeah, I mean, in Japan as well. It's not just in Chinese. In Japan as well, right? For, for means that, yeah. It, it's the same thing. <laughs> it's she. Uh, but I mean, they countered it with a yon, right? They'd be like, ah, we don't want that in our numbers. Now it's yon. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Maybe back in the Dark Ages, that kind of crap scared people. Uh, why did it scare you? Why this did is you the hate 21st it then? This 21st century, and I'm a 21st century guy. Yeah, but then why are you... Why is it giving you creeps? I'm a little insulted. Then why do you hate four so much? Right? Because it's a half-assed number. Alright, what's your Not reason? Not the best or the worst. That's why. What? Nine is a way better number. All right, whatever you say, Santa. <laughs> I believe you. <laughs> so what if it's last place, right? At least it's not some lame-ass middle number. Oh, we're talking about one to nine, like one as highest. I would think nine is better because nine is closer to ten. <laughs> I mean, four, 4 seems nice. 4 is an even number. It looks, it sounds like a good number. Like, I feel like all of the even numbers are pretty nice to me. The odd numbers... I don't really like tree. I'm sorry, Santa. You're the only tree I want. Uh, but... 8? Eight? I'm not fond of eight. <laughs> oh no, we're we're talking about 
<laughs> We're talking about opinions about numbers now. <laughs> Let's count one to one, one to nine. Then <laughs> seven is lucky, but depends on your frequency. Really, I like seven because I have seven on my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> that's my only that's my only um, preference with seven I don't care if they say lucky seven or whatever I don't care I just like seven because it ha it's it's a number on my thing <laughs> uh, one let's say one I like one just, one just seems like a clean number you know one and zero are right they're like pretty clear cut. It's a clear cut. Like it's either you have one or you don't. And I like those. Two. Two is okay. Even numbers seem more appealing in my mind for some reason. Two is fine. Three. Three not really the best in my mind for some reason. I have no reasoning as to why, but three. Tree just seems weird to me. I don't really like how the tree is shaped. It feels weird. Unless you're one of those that makes the tree with a straight one, with a straight line up top, like that. Or I guess like this for the camera. Did I even? There it was. Because that's how I do tree. Because that's that's. Uh, look good looking number <laughs> four four is nice I like four I like five five is also good five five and ten right because of how they how five is really exactly in the middle it's nice six six not really I have no opinion six six is fine because it's even for some reason even numbers just sounds nice and six but I I don't really care about six that much <laughs> seven again my birthday so I have bias four is my fave oh my best boy hates the, your four <laughs> uh, eight eight is alright maybe I just don't like the circles you know the circle pattern that's not really yeah. 8 and 3 are kind of similar, so that's why I don't really like both of those. <laughs> yeah, especially in multiplication numbers. 5, best, or 10. Yeah, that's true, that's true. Sorry, Santa! <laughs> 9, 9 pretty good. I like 9. For what reason? I don't know. 9 just seems nice. It's close to 10. It's not bad. And nine. Nine. Just the way you say it, kind of nice. I don't know. <laughs> it's all up to preference. What are you. You play? Play. Play? <laughs> play? You mean like the stock market? You mean like you mean gambling? Like gambling? Uh, yeah, of course. What else would I mean? Uh, the other option was stock market, so I assume that the stock market is an option. Um, uh... In Baccarat, the best possible hand totals nine. They call it Le Grand. But the lowest, most worthless cards, zeros. They call monkey. Just like the guy in charge of this game, huh? <laughs> zero's a monkey. Are we children? What is this insult? What? <laughs> oh man. You're totally right. When you're laughing at it? Oh my god, you are children. The guy who trapped us in here sure is one hell of a monkey. You know, if you think about it, the Nonary game is really a lot like Baccarat. And of course it doesn't use any of that stupid digital root junk. Isn't there a game that uses the digital root thing in cards? Is it Lucky 9? Is that? At least I think that was what we call it. And the goal is to have a 9 as a digital root. Or was it seven? I forgot. I think it's nine. I think nine was the idea. I, I forgot. You just drop the tens digit and that's it. Still, it does have the same idea of your final number needing to be a single digit. Oh, 
Yeah, I guess you got a point. And in both games, whoever has nine wins. The person who makes nine hmm. wins? Hmm, nine is a powerful number in the game of gumblings, I guess. Wait, did you forget already? Don't you remember what Zero said? It is hidden, but an exit can be found. Oh yeah, we need to find the door with Seek the Seek a way out. Seek a door that carries a nine. Internet's going down for some reason. Uh, it's fine now. So, if we want to get off this boat... Is that like Lucky 9? I think it might be Lucky 9. We have to make a team uh, whose numbers uh, Bakara, have a digital root of I think nine. it might be kind of Lucky 9. But not necessarily. <laughs> and only the people in that team are going to make it out alive. Of course. That's why it's called the Nonary Game. What? Nona. Huh? Nona is nine! You don't know. Nonary means something derived from nine or base nine. It's derived from the base Latin nine. prefix wow. Nona, which means well, nine. Our, you know, the people in this game are very knowledgeable. <laughs> I'm like, damn, alright, cool. While we're at it, the prefix for one is uni. I do know that. You know, like the unicorn, the horse with one horn. How about university? Two is bi, like <laughs> binary. What does that mean? <laughs> binary means composed of two parts. Three is tri. I'm sure you've heard that one plenty. Like trio, triple, and triangle. You get the idea. I do know. After that, you have quart, quinty, sext, sext septum, and so on. Septum, octo... Uh, nona, deca. And of course the prefix for eight is octo, like octopus. It's called that because it has eight legs. Get it? I, yes, I do I know see. that. So then nona means nine. So, how many of us are trapped on this ship? That'd be nine. Uh, one is dead, so he's not trapped anymore. And what are the bracelet numbers we have? They go from one to nine. And our time limit? How many hours did we have? Zero said nine hours. And finally... To get out of this ship. We need to find the door with a nine that's hidden somewhere in the ship. By making a team with the digital root of nine. And there you have it. And we have 81 seconds at each time we go through a door, which equates to nine if you do use the digital root. The number nine is everywhere in this game. He's got a real theme of nines for this whole thing. No wonder it's called the Nonary Game. Can we talk about this some other time? Because we need to get out of the room, maybe? Before I forget how what stuff we have. Let's go to the... Uh, here. The ship is... Uh, oh yeah, the ship is approximately 900 feet, according to Junpei. <laughs> Alright. Oh shit, fuck. Oh no, wait, my camera got fucked. <laughs> uh. There you go, we're back. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> oh no, it's fucked again. There we go, I think that should be fine. Uh, let's just... There we go. So we'll cover the small square tiles. I wanna look back and let's pull it the curtain. There's a curtain rod running around, uh, running along the ceiling. Let's put the shower curtain on the screen. Let's try spreading the curtain. Wow, that's a pretty obvious people. Somebody's really dedicated. Well, with the whole this big, you gotta wonder if, they, if maybe they wanted to be caught. So you're saying maybe the one getting spied on was into that shit? Maybe they were into like those home invasion <laughs> fantasies? Wow, they're very knowledgeable about that one. Alright, cool. 
Home invasion? Interesting, I see. You two are real idiots, you know that? Can I look at it from the other side? All covered in square tiles. They've all got geometric shapes in them. I think that might need me, like, go from the other side or something. to go in! Hey Junpei, that tile we've got. Do you think maybe you're supposed to put it in one of those empty spaces? I mean, the pattern just look kind of the same, doesn't it? He's right. I think so too. But if that's the case, you're going to need to collect all three tiles, right? Don't you think we should collect all of them before you start putting them in? We'll come back here, alright. There's something over there. No? I guess not. Is there nothing else here? There are some pieces of expensive looking ceramics and porcelain here. There is a number, uh huh. Uh-huh. 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 I can't say they're very good right now. Uh-huh. Nothing? Alright. Alright. No, 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 no. We don't have everything? No, not yet. I think we have two pieces. That would, of course, be Lotus. <laughs> Crazy old bat. I guess the stress was just too much for her. Did you say something? Nope, nothing. What a very rude mirror. I read that right, right? <laughs> it's too dark to search for anything there now. I don't... Oh, can I use the candle or something? No, I don't think so, right? Hmm, where, can, where else can I find? Maybe I should go back to the other room? Maybe we'll find something else. What's up? You're going back already? Well, I can't just leave June there by herself. <laughs> what, you think you're her knight or, prote or her protector or something? You're creeping me out, right? Whatever, man. I'm going. a blanket. No, I think I've covered it pretty well. Looks like that one was lame enough to get her to blush a little, alright. Didn't we get something? Oh, that was the curtain. We got the curtain on top of the bed. It's a dresser. There's nothing on top. We didn't miss anything? Well polished mirror. I get it, yes, yes. What are you mumbling about? Did you figure something out? Oh, nothing. Don't worry about it. Kind of weird little picture. 
Looks like there's a room. Uh huh. There was a room. I don't know. What am I missing? Where is the other piece? Oh, oh, we can... Oh, there we go, there we go. There's a hole in the curtain. If I look at it from a ways back... I can see a single tile. Alright. From here, I can see what tile it is. Looks like it's... The fifth from the top and the third from the right. I can just see it's this one. Let's have a closer look, shall we? Hmm, nothing strange here. Nope. The thing's not budging. Oh, maybe from the other side. Alright, let's go back. I did it, man! Why is that there? There we go. Hey, Junpei, if you miss her so much, you don't have to keep coming back here. Psh, no, that's not what it is. I'm just being like a bridge between the two rooms. She can go here by herself, you know. I ha I just need something from the other room. Uh-huh, you just keep telling yourself that. Now get out of here and go help Jun. Internet bad. Wait, let's wait for it to staple. Alright, there we go. Wah. Here it is. Yes, this is this one's loose. I think I can get under this with my nails. And yes! There you go. Alright, June, I'm tired of your face. I'ma go back here. <laughs> I want to hang out with Santa and Lotus. Oh shit, I didn't mean to go here. There's a tile in the frame. So I guess I'm supposed to put these tiles in the empty spaces. Alright, I'm gonna give it a shot. Oh, is it mirrored? Oh my fucking god, oh no. No, I don't think it's mirrored, it's just... the kind of elephant picture-ish with the brain sucking thing that June said. Yes! I did it! There! Picture complete! And there goes the frame. Oh, wh what's this? <laughs> what do you mean what's this? Pretty obvious, isn't it? There's It's a hole in the wall. Like a hidden safe or something, you know? Wait, internet bad! Oh, it's back. There you go. Anyway, let's take a look. I think there's something inside. Internet bad! Alright, it's back. <laughs> Mars key. What's the deal with this picture anyway? Apparently it's a demon looking with an elephant nose and... Stop. I... I think I've seen this picture before. Well, alright, cool. Where? Where? In a book. There's a British biochemist named Sheldrake. He has a rather interesting theory. Of what? I saw this picture in his book. What's this interesting theory? Morphogenetic fields, which relies on the theory of morphic resonance. What does that mean? Man, I can't deal with this. Just listening to you talk about it is giving me a headache. Why is everyone so knowledgeable? <laughs> it's not a difficult concept to grasp. Well, I guess more so on her side. 
Are the women here more knowledgeable? <laughs> no, not really. Because Snake is also very knowledgeable. In essence, he states that the shape of living organisms and their behavioral patterns uh -huh. are transmitted through a field not visible to the eye. Uh, what part of that isn't difficult, exactly? All right, how about this? Theory of the telepathic mechanism. Telepathy? You're, you're saying so many shits that I don't even know. She's a very knowledgeable person. <laughs> yes, okay. telepathy. Oof, wait, internet bad? It's almost, oh, we have still, we still have 30 minutes before 11. Let's get out of this room first, you know? <laughs> well, perhaps not exactly telepathy, but it's close enough for a simple approximation. Funny internet bad. All right, there you go, screen. <laughs> Are you serious? Yes. Telepathy. Internet, please be stable. Me as a person watching this game is not. <laughs> me as a person watching this game is not knowledgeable. Well, Snake is a prince, so he must be knowledgeable. I, I mean, Snake is not a prince. Snake, Snake and Clover are siblings. If Snake is a prince, then Clover would be a princess. He just look like looks like a prince. Yeah, there you go. It's green now. Who do you think we are? Kids from the 70s? I can't believe someone would actually do serious research on something like that. I mean, there's always the possibility. Science is all about testing stuff. So, you know, if there's, you know, a possible, you know, possibility, if, if it's possible, there's no harm in testing it. So I can see why. Yes, I agree. I read the book, but I can hardly say I understood it. I'm in no position to defend or condemn anything it said. Oh wow, she's a really smart lady. I like Laudis, even though she kind of annoyed me in the beginning. Especially your acting in the beginning was like, hurry, let's go. Oh, like, there is no sense of urgency in that voice, but alright. <laughs> Sake is blind, he can't read. <laughs> Can we braille? <laughs> well, telepathy is possible. It was probably just someone latching on to a statistical outlier from some study and turning it into a ridiculous theory. It's probably gonna be real in this case. There's no scientific merit to any of that. So sure. what we know is that there's a mummy in Titanic that uh, is in... Oh, fucking hell. Internet bed. In greens. There you go. But even so, I... What do you mean? Telepathy is possible? I mean... It depends. What do you mean by telepathy? So I'm not sure. We know see, most sea creatures can like send waves. Sound waves or whatever you call it. So that's how they communicate. So I'm not sure if that's considered telepathy. Uh, but it is kind of like that. It's communication, but it might be, you can just call it like language between them, I guess. So we're not really sure if that is considered telepathy, right? Um. Anyway, I saw a picture like that one in his book. Uh-huh. Hey, what do you think this picture looks like? What do you mean? Isn't it just like abstract or something like that? It's just black and white scribbles. There's no meaning there. What about you, Junpei? Does it look like anything to you? Hmm, I, I guess it looks like... That's my choice. A man's face, a butterfly, a koi, a dog. What's a Funyarinpa? <laughs> What's a Funyarinpa? Can someone search Funyarinpa for me and... Let me know what that is. A small boat floating on a lake. You know, the small boat floating on the lake kind of makes sense to me. Right? Go search, go search and let me know what a Funyarinpa is. Funyarinpa. We need to know what's a Funyarinpa. Just 
this chat box thing there we go Funyari refers to Junpei's nickname for the dog portrait oh <laughs> is that just like him making up stuff it's a Funyarimpa. Is it a dog? Does that look like a dog to you? It looks like to me. Not the man's face, definitely. A small boat floating in the lake. It's also not really that much. Because now the idea of a. Uh, elephant thing is in my mind right so i can see the legs here but the 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 blotches here around the piece kind of makes it look like water to me <coughs> but it doesn't really look like a boat either I think it's a Funyarimpa. Doesn't really look like a koi either. So I'm also hesitant. I like call it something of a sea creature, but that's not a choice. Call it a Funyarimpa. I'ma call it a Funyarimpa. Oh no, wait. Let's wait for internet to be stable. There you go, we're back. Are we? No, we're not. Alright, that did not help us at Are we fucking back? Alright, we're back, we're back. Cool, alright, let's call it a Funyarinpa. Because I can't really say that it's any of the choices. A small boat floating in a lake is kind of, you know, close to what I think it might be. I would rather, like, if you look at this. Is there a way we can... No. What's this? Oh, we can have a calculator. Oh, for the digital route. That's nice to know. We can make it easier on ourselves. Because if you look at it... What am I going to say it is if it's a sea creature of some sort? I can't actually tell. It's a Cthulhu. <laughs> a Kraken! A uh, Funyarinpa! Uh, uh, a Funyarinpa? See? I, I mean, this totally looks like one. And here, and here. What the hell is a Funyarinpa? <laughs> Let's there you go. <laughs> what, what? What do you mean? What the hell is a Funyarimpa? <laughs> yeah, you mean you, you don't know? How the hell would I know? How could you not know? <laughs> <laughs> what is a Funyarimpa? That's, that's practically blasphemous. <laughs> oh, oh, say you're sorry. Apologize <laughs> to the Funyarimpa. Goodness, you are such a rude woman. <laughs> cool. Hey, are you just screwing around? <laughs> Forget it. I'm just gonna tell you. This is a dog. It does not look like a dog! See? Like this. Where? Oh. Uh, well, now that you so... give me that... I guess it is a dog. 
Now we know what it's a picture of, but I, I don't see how that helps us. A TV show from Great Britain did an experiment once. They took two similar pictures. <laughs> Blasphemous! <laughs> see the punyarin pa come back later in the later in the series and be like I'm actually zero. The punyarin pa. <laughs> Both of them were difficult to identify initially, but once you figured out the answer, you couldn't see it as anything else. That's not true. These two pictures. The first was a woman wearing a hat. The other one. Well, to make it easier, let's just say it was this picture of a dog. So, mm -hmm. their experiment. First, they sent the picture to other parts of the world, outside the reach of British airwaves. Alright, wait for it to come back. Internet! Internet! There you go, it's green. <laughs> to Ireland, the US, Africa, Europe, etc. True, I saw this dog and I can't see it as anything else, really. I mean, I still see it. If I want to see it, I can see it, but I can pretty much... See. Oh yeah, fuck, no, never mind. I can't go back anymore, oh no. Eh, <laughs> internet! There you go, we're back. So yeah, I was saying internet while the while the internet was out. Oh no. Oh no. Internet oh, there you go. <laughs> we're back. Fuck. E Alright. Alright. <laughs> then in each country they gathered a number of test subjects. Roughly a thousand people. Where's the lady in the second picture? They were shown the two pictures and asked. What does this picture look like to you? What? Where's the lady in the hat in the, the picture? The results weren't really interesting on their own. 9.2% of the people saw the lady in the lady picture. Really, I did not see it. saw the dog in the dog picture. Then, two I days later, they aired a new program, sport. the dog picture and its solution. The audience was estimated to be 200,000 people. Internet! Uh, I feel like I'm threatening my internet to be like, come back before I die because I went out of bread. <laughs> After the broadcast, it internet. was a safe bet the people who knew the solution to the dog picture was at least that many. In, in, no, right. <laughs> internet. All right. After another two days passed, they gathered more research subjects from areas outside the reach of British TV and radio. Internet! Alright. This time, they only found a sample of roughly 850. Internet! Naturally, none of them had participated in the first test. Alright. They were, however, given the same test and the same two pictures. The results were startling. 10% of the people Internet. saw the lady in the lady picture. Previous test sat at a 9.2% success rate. Not much of a change to statistically. Chris. The dog picture, however, produced a very different result. Uh, Alright, we're back. The percentage of people able to successfully find the dog. Internet. 